Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 23rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to check out the logical NOT operator. Now the logical NOT operator reverses the truth value or the falsity of an expression or an operand. In simple words, if uh, you have an if statement in your program and if the if block of the if statement is being executed if the expression values are true, which obviously has to be the case, and if you proceed the expression with the logical NOT operator, then the if block would not execute. So what I mean by that is, uh, well, let me just show you what the logical NOT operator looks like and what it does in a program that will help you understand this uh, thing in a much better way. So as you can see in the ID, I have created a file that's called logical underscore NOT dot C. On line one, I have a comment. On line two, I have put in the header file. On line three, I've declared the main function. I also have my curly braces in place. So between these braces, we can type in our code. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a variable of integer type and I'm going to call it X. I'll give it a value five, right? And then I'm going to have a simple if statement and the condition that this if statement is going to check is going to be X is uh, greater than equal to five. So if this is true, then we're going to do something. And what we're going to do is we're going to use printf to display a message on screen and um, let me type in something random like uh, hey there what's up okay random enough and uh, let's also have an else block and uh, of course the else block will execute if this test fails or if this expression evaluates to false right and we're going to have a printf statement in the else block as well and um, let me print uh, the weather is uh, pretty cool. Okay, put an exclamation symbol uh, at the end, and of course the semicolon has to go as the last character on that line uh, to terminate the statement. So let me save this file, and uh, when I click on build and run, you see that I get the output. Hey there, what's up? And that's because this printf statement got executed, the one that's on line 8 within the if block because the value of x is 5 and uh, the test condition that we have, that is x is greater than or equal to 5, would evaluate to true because x is equal to 5. And uh, if I suppose want to see this message on screen, the one that is uh, enclosed within double quotes in the printf statement on line 12, the printf in the else block, then either I would have to change the value of x uh, so that the condition fails, like I'll have to change the value of x to 2. If I save the file now, let me close this output window so that I can run the program again. I click on build and run and now I see that the weather is pretty cool. But let's say the value of x stays 5, but I still want the else block to be executed even though the test condition evaluates to true. What would I have to do to do that? So that's where you use your logical not operator. So it's pretty simple, it's the exclamation symbol. That's all it is. You know, like the AND operator, you had to use two ampersand symbols. With the OR operator, you had to use two pipe symbols. The logical NOT operator is just single exclamation mark, right? That's all it is. So I'll put the expression within uh, parentheses and that's just to make things neat. It's not going to have any effect on the execution of the program. And uh, let me save this file and uh, let me close this output window. And I see now that the string, the weather is pretty cool is being displayed, right? So that's despite the fact that the value of X is five. And if I would have not had this logical not operator here, then this condition would have valued it true, which it does actually. It's just that the logical not operator reverses the truth value of this expression. So, you know, the entire thing within the parentheses of the if statement evaluates to false, right? So the if block fails and the else block executes. So that's what the logical NOT operator does. Now, this isn't the best example that I could have thought of to explain the logical NOT operator to you, but I didn't really put much effort uh, in thinking about how I should get across the logical NOT operator because it's something that you won't use much. You won't rely on it for sure as a C programmer. And uh, the AND and OR operators you would be using more often because you know they really help you construct complex conditions, but the logical NOT operator is seldom used. I made a tutorial on it because it's something that's provided in most programming languages. So you should at least know what it is and how it looks like and what it does, right? So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're gonna check out something interesting, of course. 
So stay tuned for updates and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, have a nice day.